Welcome. In front of me is a Oppo Reno 10 and today I will show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. So to get started, I'm going to quickly mention a couple things. So starting off with the device, you can obviously see it is locked. It's telling me to draw the verification pattern to unlock it. And if I close this, it's going to tell me to sign in with the Google account that was previously used on this device. Now, assuming we don't know either of those, uh, I'm just going to go through a guide on how we can bypass this and then remove it altogether. Unfortunately for this, we will need another device. That can be any kind of Android uh, that uh, has a functioning Google Play Store. And that's really the only thing we need. And second thing, which probably everyone has, is internet connection. And that's all. So, I'm going to move the other device to the side for the time being and stick with the locked one for now. So, to get started, we will back out to the, or at least I will be backing out to the Wi-Fi connection page like this one. If you are at the beginning of the setup, just progress through it till you see this page, connect to Wi-Fi, connect to your network, and from there uh, we can then select um, add new network. Let's scroll down again, add network. Let me quickly uh, check it out. No, oh, never mind. Uh, so it's not here. It's this one that we're looking for. So once you connect to your network, or I guess any other one also has this, you have this little eye icon in a circle. You want to click on it. This will then give you a couple options. One of them will be share. So I'm going to just kind of like hover my hand over it because I believe it shows you up the password. So I don't want to show that. So I'm blocking it for now. Uh, once you press on that share button, you'll then see nearby right here. So we're going to click on this. Okay, no password visible. Here uh, we have the turn on, so we're going to select that. I'm still going to just hover my hand over it. Okay, so nothing visible right here. So we have then, uh, once you select the nearby, you have this uh, blue text right here. Need help sharing. You want to click on it. Come on. Okay, you want to click on it, uh, give it a moment, and it will load up an article. And here we're going to click on these three dots, and then we're going to select share article. This will bring up several different options and we're looking for messages. So right over here. Now before I tap on it, um, just gonna, I guess, tap on it. A new message. Then in the field two, just type in any kind of numbers. They don't need to be real, obviously. 72 is not a number. I mean, I, it is, but not a number that you can call or message. Um, but anyway, uh, so I'm, that's what I'm going to select. Then the message will automatically paste the link of the article. So we want to select it and then remove it. Once it's removed, you want to now type in www.youtube.com. Now, important thing, make sure you add the extension of uh, www. The reason we need to do this is without it, if you type in just youtube.com, it will open up YouTube, or once we tap on it to open it up, it will open it up in this kind of like pop-up view where it's not a full screen application, which completely messes up the entire process. So make sure you add this extension. From there, simply send the message. Uh, keep in mind, I don't even have a SIM card in the device, so I'm not really sending this message to anyone. Uh, but it still tries to send it. Um, it gives you this window right here with a message. So here we're going to tap to load preview. And I'll simply tap on it and then click on the YouTube image. And as you can see, this opens up YouTube in its full application form, which is what we needed. And here, now I'm going to click on the account. And then we're going to select settings. About. And then Google privacy policy. X or whatever that was. And we get kind of blocked. So let's try it again. Nani. Now, never mind. We just select use 
without an account. Um, for some reason, I thought that that was the um, accept and continue that thing. Shows how much I can read it right here. Anyway, uh, once uh, you select the other one, use without the account, it obviously opens up the browser. In here, we're gonna now navigate to the hard reset that info slash bypass website. So I'm gonna type it in myself and if you need a moment to copy it, just pause the video. So now would be the time to pause. And here we're gonna scroll down and we're looking for settings. So I'll simply tap on the image. This will open up our phone settings. And here we're gonna navigate to home screen and a lock screen. Then home screen layout. Let me just make sure that I'm doing this correctly. Okay, I guess I am. So as you can see, this opens up instantly our home screen for some reason. Don't know really why, but that's how it works. And here we're gonna now scroll uh, to the left and we're looking for the clone phone application, which will be located in the tools. So right here, and I believe it's this one right here. Yep, so that's what we need to open. And in here, we're gonna select that this is a new device. We're gonna allow anything that it wants. Migrate data from other Android, at least that's in my case, what I'm gonna be selecting. And it shows us the QR code. So this device is now prepared and we can just slide it to the side and bring the other device into view. So, just, hello, there we go, thank you. Let me just clean that up so it doesn't look so gross. There we go. So, let me make it a little bit brighter. Okay. In here, obviously, like I mentioned before, we're gonna navigate to Play Store and we're looking for Clone Phone. We're looking for the Oppo one, but in all reality, uh, basically all three of these will work. That's basically the same company. Um, but just for this, pur this purpose, I'll still stick with the official Oppo one. And from here we can select Install. Once it's done downloading and installing, we're gonna open it up and then we're gonna agree to anything that it shows up. So settings, enable, go back, settings, enable, go back. Start migrating, settings, find the clone phone from the list, enable, go back, go back once more. Uh, to ensure migration will be not interrupted, do not switch network during OK. And again, we're going to select settings, enable, go back while using the app, allow, allow, allow. Oh boy, that's a lot of different things. Uh, clone phone requires the location permission, uh, not really sure why, that's actually a BS that uh, application like this require location. It creates a hotspot. It don't need to know where I'm located at, but go figures. Uh, spying is a key part of China, right? Anyway, while using the app, now I do strongly recommend selecting while using the app for the spying portion. And once we agree to literally everything, we can now uh, use our camera to scan this QR code. So simply point the camera at it like so. There we go. And it will now connect these two devices together. Okay. By default, it will select basically everything that is on this device. So we want to deselect everything. Click right here. There we go. Then you want to click on apps. As in not selected, but click on the text, which will open up a view of all the applications. And here, select any kind of application that takes the smallest amount of space. So, oops. Um, let's see, Oprah takes a hundred top facts. I guess that would probably be one or this one. There we go. Uh, obviously you can select almost any kind of application. Uh, we just need to have one application. The reason I'm selecting the smallest size one is because 
uh, the bigger the application, the longer it will be copying. From there, click on the check mark and then select Start Migrating. Okay, uh, not okay. It failed. So whatever I tried to copy was kind of a bust. So let's try it again. I guess even though it failed, it still worked. Okay. Now, as you can see, uh, you could... I think there was another option to press, but uh, going back obviously seems to work. So right here, we're just going to select our system navigation. I'm going to stick with the gestures. And I'm going to skip this. Later. Done. Get started. And it should take us to the home screen. There we go. So as you can see, even though it didn't actually successfully transfer over the application, the process still worked. So now that we have access to our home screen, because we're still not done, uh, we need to do one last thing, which is navigate into the settings. I'm going to scroll all the way down to additional settings. And then back up and reset. Reset phone. Erase all data. Erase all data. And then press on the button erase all data once again. Now, the reason we need to do this as a last step is because we right now before we reset it, have just bypassed this. The protection is still present on this device. So if you were to possibly reboot the device or reset it through, uh, through recovery mode, it would go back to being locked. But performing a reset of the device through settings forces the device to remove all the data from it. That will include all the old screen locks and Google accounts. That's why I'm telling you to do this as a last step. Now, I'm not going to go over this on the video just because it's a lot of black screen. Once it's finished, you're back in the setup screen. And from there, you can set up your device however you want because it is fully unlocked at that point. So that's the last thing that you'll need to do. So with that being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.